What's up guys, Thomas here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the setup and first flight of the GEP RC Smart 35 drone. All right, so if you're coming from my unboxing video, welcome back to the channel and thank you. If you haven't seen that unboxing video, I'll leave a link down below and above where you can see that video. It's pretty cool to see what GEP RC has included in the box when you do order this drone. So guys, I have all my items laid out here on the table. We'll be using all these things here to do the initial setup of this drone. And then we'll go to the computer, jump on beta flight and set this thing up. So just like for any drone, I have all my equipment here. I have my transmitter or my controller. I have my drone, obviously my drone here. I do have a battery for that drone. I need that to do the pairing process. And I have my goggles here. I have my box style goggles from GIP RC. Still works pretty well. I did upgrade the antennas. I do have a patch antenna on here. And I also have a, I guess like a lollipop on here as well. So this should be really good for the range on this. Let's get started. This is a jumper T light radio. I just got this. I did a video on this as well. And I did get the module on the back here. This is the TBS Crossfire module on the back. This will be great for long range flying. And going further, I will be using hopefully Crossfire on all my drones in the future. So this drone here does come or is optioned out for Crossfire. Now this is the analog version. They do offer the Smart 35 and the HD version so you can use your DJI goggles and controller as well. I'm gonna power on my controller here. Uh, this uses OpenTX. This interface might look a little different than your controller, but the OpenTX interface is very similar from controller to controller. So I'm just gonna power this on. Welcome to OpenTX, throttle warning. All right. Anyways, I do have a profile made in this. I'm gonna hit the model key here and then select the model that I want. I have Smart 35 already made in here. So I'm gonna hit the enter button and then select model. And as you can see right now, I don't have the Crossfire powered up, but once I select it, I have the Crossfire module powered up. All right, so I get to the setup page here and I do wanna go down to setup tools, Crossfire config here. All right, so micro TX, and it gives you the menu for the Crossfire. So I'm just gonna go here to bind that's what I want to do. I want to bind this controller and it says binding. So now we are in the binding phase here and all I have to do now is plug this. All right. So we just put the power on that, hit the bind button. Now we're binding. It's updating the receiver. It's pretty cool. This will transfer the files and updated software from this transmission or from this module to the receiver. So it's doing that right now. We're at 77%. Now it's showing green. And we are done. We're showing green here as well. Now we have our controller here and it is bound. Telemetry lost. Makes sense. I just unplugged it. So there's no more telemetry going to my controller. We have this all set up right here. We're gonna go to the computer and go into beta flight and assign all the functions of the switches. Make sure that everything is working. Sometimes you have a tendency that these switches might be in reverse. So it's good to see all of that before you plug in the battery and go for your first flight and then assign those things, probably change the OSD, make sure the screen is the way I want it. But yeah, we're gonna do that. Now you're wondering probably why I didn't put the propellers and other things on here. We have all the propellers and all the accessories like battery straps and stuff on here. It's pretty smart to go with it, configure it on the computer first because you definitely don't want the prop spinning while you're trying these things out on beta flight. So we'll leave the propellers for last. We'll go configure that really quickly. Come back here, install the propellers and then go for a flight. So let's go to the computer and check out the settings and the flight controller. All right guys, so we are at the computer here. We have my drone here, we have the controller, we have our battery, and I have a fan here just in case. Sometimes this thing can get really hot. The VTX technically shouldn't be powered up, but just in case, I'll have the fan here to cool this down. Okay, just go to your beta flight configurator. So what we're gonna do here is just plug our micro USB into the flight controller and we should hear the typical like a USB connection into the computer. All right, we heard the tones. Keep this near the fan so it stays cool. We're gonna connect. And all right, so what I'm gonna do here, the receiver is powered. I'm gonna power my transmitter here. Welcome to OpenTX. 
All right, so I have my rotation here. That's good to know when I put my props on. So they are, uh, let's see, they're inwards. Before I do any of that, I'm just gonna go here quickly and save the factory uh, settings or tune on this quad. I'm gonna go here, D-I-F-F-A-L-L, -L, hit enter, and then I can save this to a file. So in case I do screw anything up, I can return this to factory settings. And as you can see, I have some other files in here. So I'm gonna name this one Smart 35 config file, factory config file, and I'll just say number two, save. All right, so it did save it, connect. All right, so that looks good. Port, we're not gonna miss that. UART 2, disable this one here. We don't have any GPS or anything connected to it. Serometer, we don't have any biometrics. Craft name is Smart35. I'll just change it to my name as usual. All right, so that's saved. Camera angle, we can't change that. We have crossfire, that's good. And the serial port, which is good. We don't have sonar telemetry, that's good. We don't have LED display, that's fine. So this is good. Once I lost uh, uh, signal, it will beep, which is good. Uh, power and battery, we're not gonna mess with that. Min, max, that's fine. We're using LiPo batteries, so that's all good. We're not gonna tune this quite at all. Everything here is fine, so we're not gonna mess with it. We wanna see the factory settings. The receiver here is where we really want to play around with it a little bit. Pitch, roll, and it goes to close to 2,000 on each one, which is good. There you go, and then yaw. So they all work, that's fine. Uh, these switches here, these are assigned. So let's go and assign those to the modes, and here we are. So let's see here. So I'll do that and move this over here. And now it's disarmed. This is arm. So we're good here. Um, angle. I have my switches here, so I have it fully down. That should be horizon. I want angle here. All right, so fully down is angle. Midway is horizon and fully up is acro. Now the beeper, that's fine. Let's do that. All right, last control, V takes to acro, parallax. You can add, obviously, okay, I wanna add this right here, add this. So if I go to that, so, there you go, perfect. All right, let's save this. It's saved. Talk to what the motors, I'm not gonna mess with that. OSD, we'll get that really shortly. I wanna see here what channel this is on. None, let's select it right now. Race band, seven, power, 25 for now. I'm gonna save that. All right, so what I really need are these in the right position, we'll do that pretty quickly. And you can set this up however way you want to. Obviously, this is a personal choice. Current draw. And that's cool for me over here. Is it cross? Yeah, that's what I need. Crosshairs is what I need. All right, I need the RSS RSSI value. Put that up here. I need to know the VTX channel. All right, save. Disconnect. Boom. All right, let's unplug this thing. All right, that was me rushing through this. What I'm gonna do here quickly is make sure this arm on arm switch is set. So I'm gonna plug a battery to it, see if it, the, the motors come on. If the motors come on, that means my switches are correct. And this is the reason why you don't wanna have the props connected. Telemetry recovered. All right, that's the first thing. I have an image here, that's good. Let's see the arm switch. All right, arm switch works, it's in the right configuration. And I do have a picture here. Let's unplug this thing. Guys, I think we just set this up really quickly here. I'm gonna stop recording here. Lost. We're gonna go back to the table. 
install the rest of the items like the propellers and all the other accessories I want to add to this. All right, we are back at the table here and we have everything here back from the computer. Anyways, the first thing we'll do here is uh, attach my battery strap here. Okay, so I have my scissors here. Pretty straightforward. Just route this through here and just lock it down. All right, so that's nice and neat and dandy. Um, this thing does come with a battery mat right here. And I've used this before in the past and these things tend to not work well. So if you notice here, a lot of my batteries, or all my batteries actually have Velcro on them and that seems to work a lot better. Anyways, I have some Velcro right here. I'm just gonna lay this down. This thing will do the job. This thing will adhere to the surface, carbon fiber. And even without a strap, this thing will stay in there. All right, so battery strap is on there. Velcro, this thing is really, wow, I'm impressed already. All right, besides that, let's move on. We're gonna put the props on here. And as we saw in the diagram, the props were coming in, props in. So these would be for the rear then. And you can tell based upon if you find the words or writing on top of the prop, and then the prop should turn in a way to force air down. So this will be for the front. Then we'll just have to put the mounting screws on here and tighten that down. You have an Allen key here to tighten your screws. So we have the props on, they're all nice and secure. Now this is looking like a really attractive drone here now. All right, the last thing I wanna put on here are these little rubber legs. Pretty much this thing is a flat plate on here and sometimes you might have a hard landing, you might be moving forward while you're trying to land and you don't wanna damage the bottom plate. So you have these little rubber stoppers or legs. So I'll probably put one on each leg. Now where I'm mounting these is not interfering with the motors, the propellers, or the flight controller. You don't really wanna block those screws in case you have to disassemble this drone. This thing is ready to rip. Pretty cool, guys. So yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's go outside and fly this for the first time. All right, let's do it. Ooh. 